If you go back 10 years, we just had a cow-calf operation, and sometimes we had cattle in the feedlot even fed them corn, fatten them. Um, since Eli came back from college, we've been trying to add more enterprises to, uh, as they call it, stacked uh, systems. And So the first thing we added was some sheep, and uh, you don't want to add a new enterprise too quickly because there's a real learning curve to uh, something you've never done before and we've never had sheep and uh, we've learned a lot about how to handle them and we've got 55 ewes now and we're probably going to get up to a couple hundred in the next five years. So that was six years ago yes. and then uh, three years ago we got chickens and uh, we tried some pastured chicken and that was another thing that took us a while to learn. Um, we haven't been able to find a market for our broilers, so we didn't do chickens this year. But we have laying hens also, and we sell eggs at the farmer's market in Watertown. And then the newest thing we added in was some hogs, and that was a year ago. And uh, what we'd like to do is have about a dozen sows that farrow twice a year and at least one of those should be out in the pasture. And then we'd like to um, turn those piggies out in a cornfield and, and let them eat the corn and, and graze corn so that they wouldn't be in a feedlot either. Ideally, we'd like to, to integrate all of our, our species together. You know, they, um, sheep will bond to, to cattle, so we'd like what, what, one sheep family per cow-calf family. Um, we've been working towards it, yeah. but it's very difficult to keep sheep in because uh, currently our our rotation um, we only have a, a single wire that will keep cattle in fairly easily. Uh, so we'll have to keep working on that um, as far as infrastructure with all the the fencing we have. Yeah. Earlier today we looked at that pasture, that was the first place we stopped and that that pasture is almost 90 acres and our goal is to have 90 cow-calf pairs, 90 sheep families, and that the dozen hogs and maybe 400 chickens all out in that pasture. I was out in Society for Range Management meeting and the last thing I said, if there's anybody out here in drought country that needs a home for some cows, I have that home. And a guy came up to me after the meeting and he goes, were you serious? We got all the manure from 225 cows for almost 90 days and spread that all over our crop fields.